This is my Tesla solar charging setup with the Jackery power station, which is in the shade. Let me remove it so it does not overheat. I'll take a look. It's draining at 4%, outputting 574 watts. I'm going to explain a bit more detail later. Uh, it's inputting 267 watts right now. Uh, it is charging using the 120 volts option back here, as you can see. Uh, let's get in the car and show you a few more details. Uh, these are 400 watt solar panels. Uh, in the in the noontime, I will get the maximum over 300 watts of output. Uh, obviously, the position is not pointed uh, really ideally directly at the sunlight. Let's get in here. I would highly recommend uh, reduce the charging speed to 5 amps instead of the full 13 amp uh, 12 amps uh, to let the battery drain slower so you can take full advantage of these solar panels, right? And they provide a nice shade. Uh, it says 2 hours and 35 minutes remaining. And uh, I'll get, uh, I'm, I'm currently at 186 miles or 77%. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, uh, just a quick uh, demo to show you that it is doable and um, the best practice. And by the way, you will definitely need the ground bonding plug to make this work. Otherwise, this will not, um, you know, this charger will not enable without this plug. Next time, I will I'll fully recharge the battery bank, put it in a full sunlight, uh, connect the solar panels, then we will do a test at this drain rate. Maybe I'll connect even more solar panels and see if this will um, be a viable option for emergency. Uh, so the idea is that this solar panel should provide ideally 100% of what the car needs. So we'll break even. So let's say if the uh, power station is sitting at 90% and I'm getting 400 watts input and 400 watts output, then the battery level will just stay at 90 watts, right? Um, and that's the idea. Um, yeah, next time I can maybe think of a way to get the 240 volts out of it so I can charge it quicker, but the battery will just drain completely. Um, yeah. So that, that's another interesting thing to try later. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful. And by the way, these panels, just wanna, you know, before I go, I just wanna show you, these panels have a magnetic connection so you can, it can be folded up easily. It has the, that, um, round plug in there so it's only compatible with the jackery's proprietary cable that goes back in here the ch solar charging input ports like so it will also be compatible with um you know other jackery power stations if you have other you know round plug the older one or the smaller one uh, th this is the jackery 3000 Pro uh, that has AC inputs that will charge super quickly using a wall power outlet like 1,300 watts. Over or over that, I forgot the exact numbers. There's a info, uh, input reset AC expandable port. I have additional battery uh, expandable pack that can be connected, and this port is the DC expandable port. Let me open this thing up. So it's kind of a bit hard to do. There you go. You can daisy chain this battery pack and connect a, um, a expandable um, battery pack as well. And over here, I want to. Uh, I just want to quickly show you all the ports. Uh, two AC uh, USB Type A. To USB-C rated at 100 watts each, great for charging laptops. 
and DC input output 12 volts I believe this one is regulated uh, 10 amp max so it's, it's 120 watts and there you go you got a like a camping um, TTR 30 ports pure sine wave this is like a 3000 watts continuous output uh, and by the way the, ja the uh, Tesla can this charger can do 1300 watts in the one, 120 volts mode uh, let's take a look at the screen yeah it's draining so it's gonna be over in like 10 minutes uh, I might want to disconnect this battery pack to avoid a, a complete deep discharge. It also supports Wi-Fi connection, so it can remotely control this unit in terms of its on-off switch. All right, signing off. Thank you very much for watching.